In today's video, I show you guys the most insane Power World base that I've ever created that actually on site produces 70,000 gold per minute. Yes, 70,000 gold per minute. This base has a massive castle, a super cool lighthouse with an elevator, and a mysterious little dungeon here with a money-making secret. It's also fully outfitted with merchants from all over the map that you can use to buy things like infinite ammunition at your own will. And I even have some merchants here that make the ranch basically useless because I can just come here to buy my eggs, my milk, my red berries, and my wheat, everything that you need minus the honey to build cakes. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set this entire thing up in under three minutes for yourself, so make sure you stick around. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Dantas here. Why you no subscribe? Make me so sad. This setup is my own unique spin on this insane gold farm that you guys may or may not have already seen. But before I show that to you, I'm a big proponent of giving credit where credit is due. The original publisher of the gold making methods name is Ifgen. He deserves all the credit in the world. Well done, my dude. And secondly, this incredibly beautiful castle that you guys see in front of you now was actually created by someone named Epic Treasure. She is a phenomenal architect architect in Power World, and I would highly recommend checking out her channel. I'm going to go ahead and link both of their channels in the description below with their respective videos. This video right here is easily the most unhinged thing I've ever posted on the internet, and as soon as you see the gold making method, you're going to understand why. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the farming method, because it's pretty easy, and then I'm going to show you again how you can build this setup for yourself in just under three minutes with very minimal investment. Okay, so in this base, I built a dungeon, and the reason I call it a dungeon is going to be evident as soon as you look down here in this little hole, because if you look down here, you're, you're going to see that there is just a black marketeer just trapped in there. And most of you just saw where this is going. All you need is just something to do some quick damage to him. And all you got to do is just give him a few party favors here. And as soon as you do that, he will willingly give you a ton of gold. So that's great. That was a ton of gold. But I don't know if this next part is actually supposed to happen. But as of patch version 0.1.5.1, this is still working. So I'm going to go ahead and show this to you guys. All you got to do as soon as you take out that black marketeer is travel to one of your other bases. Wait here for about five seconds or so. And then you're just simply going to fast travel back to that base. As soon as you get there, run back to the dungeon. And would you look here? The black marketeer is back here again ready for some more party favors. And there's the gold. So even with this most recent patch, you can still do this over and over and over again for basically as much gold as you want. Of course, the amount of gold that you guys get is going to be determined by your drop settings. But even if you don't have your drop settings turned up, this is still hands down going to be the fastest way to farm gold, no matter what those settings are. So why is this so good? Well, gold is nice, but it's what you can do with that gold that makes this so worth your while to get this set up as soon as you can. As I mentioned before, you can actually capture yourself your own PAL merchants, bring them to this base and deploy them. And if you look here, I can actually deploy this merchant and look, I can buy infinite handgun ammo, infinite assault rifle ammo, infinite shotgun shells, and now this video is demonetized. But you could also do the same thing for things like this uh, merchant here that sells all the materials you need for cakes, which you need for breeding, in addition to high grade medical supplies. I mean, guys, this is just insane. You can farm as much gold as you want and then purchase for yourself all these items that usually take a ton of time to make at your own base and just buy them at max capacity over and over again. And I like that, just like you like the video. So the castle and the lighthouse and the dungeon and the other buildings, they, they look cool, but you don't actually need any of those to set this up for yourself. I could have sworn I had a recording of what this place looked like before I built all this stuff. So while I'm looking for that B-roll, let me take a moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, Dadhost. Dadhost is a very easy to use and very reliable, dedicated, hosting service for Power World. If you guys are looking for a permanent world that's up and running 24-7 even when you're not logged in, I would definitely recommend checking them out. They make it super easy to quickly upload your existing save file or change to a new one using their drag and drop feature. They have servers pretty much everywhere around the world, so all you gotta do is just select the server that's closest to you and you can get to gaming. I've been using their dedicated hosting service for quite some time now, and I can honestly say I'm seriously impressed with their performance. Their website is super user-friendly, and they've got options for both 
both Windows and Linux users, as well as an option for modded playthroughs. If you want to check them out, go to the link in my description for 30% off your first month. And thank you again to DadHost for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so what do you need to set up this location for yourself? Well, first, all you need is to be level nine so that you can get level two heat resistance. And you get that by crafting this tropical outfit here. To get to this location, all you have to do is fast travel to this place down here, the beach of everlasting summer. As soon as you get there, put on your heat resistant armor and then follow this path here that I'm displaying on the screen. You're basically just going to go over this little cliff above the water. You could use a flying mount if you want one. And all you're looking for here is just that black marketeer here on the beach. Once you get here, place down a pal box. You don't actually need the marketeer to be inside of it. But once you get here, I actually built myself a stone foundation around the marketeer so that I could have him kind of trapped in this little area. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of building these around in a square like fashion, leaving that little opening there. Now, something important to mention is I did build that massive building on top and i found that if you cover the area above his head he actually will not respawn so if you are going to do this and if you're going to do something simple like this you're totally fine but if you build the whole building and you put a roof over it in any respect he will not respond like it, it's almost like they drop out of the sky so just think think like that if i take the marketeer out and if he drops from out of the sky will he be able to land in this little area right here so as long as you have it built like that you're going to be just fine and guys that's essentially all you need i mean if you look here i actually have seen other videos where people will deploy all their strong pals they'll say hi to the marketeer and then they'll just come in and just obliterate him for you that's one way to do it or if you just wanted to use a shotgun like I did, that's kind of an easier way to take them out. Again, it's just going to depend on what level you are. But bear in mind, if you do use this method of taking all your pals to, to take them out for you, they probably will do some damage to your stone foundations and it might actually destroy the building. So just bear that in mind. Now, very quickly, to get the merchants that you're going to need to populate this base to have everything you need right in front of you, there are three locations you need to go to. The first location is going to be Fisherman's Point in the very southwest part of the map kind of near where you just built this base. And as soon as you get there, you're gonna go up these stairs. The first wandering merchant you're gonna find here is in green. This guy here actually has the ammunition and the heat resistant undershirt that I had. The next one is another pal merchant. You just go straight past him and look down here. And this is gonna be again, another pal merchant that you can use to buy pals with passive skills and then also sell the excess that you might have. And the last guy is actually gonna be all the way up. Okay, if I, okay. This game works. And the last one is actually going to be, if I use this entrance point as a reference, when you get to this first guy, instead of talking to him, turn left and go straight all the way back here until you see this guy in red. Once you get here, talk to him and you can see that he is the one that sells the high grade medical supplies, some high quality oil, in addition to tomatoes and lettuce that you're going to need to make yourself some salads. The next location is actually one of the more important ones, and this is going to be in the very northern part of the map called the Dune Shelter. As soon as you get there, travel up here to this little bazaar. Once you actually make it into the bazaar, it's pretty easy to see that here are the merchants that you're going to have your eye on. But before you start causing a ruckus, go to each of them and make sure you understand the ones that you want to capture. I would recommend picking up for yourself at least one pal merchant. Number one, because they sell pals with really good passive skills that you can actually use for breeding just to make it a little bit easier for you. And you can also use him to sell the excess pals that you have so that you don't get totally stocked up. Over here to the right, you have a wandering merchant. This guy sells some goods that you're going to want, like heat resistant armor and ammunition. He also sells a musket. If you guys don't have one, you can just buy one from him. And right here, we have another wandering merchant that's going to have all the goods that you guys need for high grade medical supplies and tomatoes and lettuce. And for the final location, you're going to be traveling here to the small settlement that is just southeast of the King Packa boss right there. Now, as soon as you get to the small settlement, there are going to be other merchants here that you could capture for yourself, but really the only one that you need is this guy back here straight directly back from where you first spawned in and the reason why is because he sells all of the goody goods the eggs the milk the red berries the wheat all the items that you usually need to be farming for and that take a ton of time to get at your breeding base so as soon as you catch all the boys that you want deploy them to your base and now you can buy for yourself as much unlimited ammunition as your little handsome face desires thanks for watching goodbye